Hey folks, we're back in action. I was gone for a little bit. I was out in Wyoming helping a buddy out, and while I was out there, I was lucky enough to kill an antelope. And actually, it almost killed me. And we're gonna have that story uh, printed up and posted on uh, Big Time Samwood uh, website. So I got my antelope, I got his back straps here. I've been having them marinated them in uh, dry rub, um, venison rub. Now when I was out there, I talked to 100 guys, and uh, 90 of them said antelope tastes like shit. 10 of them said it was the best stuff you could ever eat. So we're gonna see. We're gonna cook it up. We're gonna do this first batch. We're gonna do it up in the can cooker. Um, this stuff always comes out amazing. Put that in there. Get us a can of beer. Kind of to celebrate. Yeah, this, uh, this antelope hunting was rough on a fat boy like me. But I only had one day to hunt. It was a spur of the moment deal. And I actually killed one, so it was, it was pretty kick-ass. So we got our antelope in there. I'm going to throw some onions in there. This is actually just going to be pretty simple. Um, one, because I just kind of want to see how the antelope tastes. And then we're going to put some potatoes in there. This one's going to be easy-peasy Japanesey, that's for sure. And then uh, this is Dash on the potatoes. Lowry season salt, and then that's gonna be it. We're gonna throw this baby on the fire. We're gonna give it about uh, 30 minutes because I don't think we want the antelope cooked well done. I think we want to have it like medium. So we're gonna give it about 30 minutes and then we'll see how it turns out and we'll let you know. All right, here it is. Time for the dump. Easy. Peasy, Japanesey, nothing fancy. We'll get a fork here and we'll see how the meat's done. Check it. Oh yeah. Looks moist. So we'll uh serve it up and we're gonna let you know how it tastes. Might taste like shit, like 90 people said. Might taste awesome, like 10. All right, Melissa thought it'd be best if we do the first taste live. That way everybody knows. This is the very first time I've ever made antelope, ate antelope, killed antelope. Pretty strong. Not bad. Not great. Pretty strong sage taste. Mm. I don't think it was almost worth dying for dragging this some bitch out. Damn white tail tastes better than that. Huh. Well, we got a couple more recipes we're gonna try. We're gonna try fajitas with it. 50% of the people said they made awesome fajitas. So we'll try that next. And then we're going to eat this because this is all we got. All right. We tried uh, some A1 steak sauce on it, and that turned it out to be really, really good. So I think the secret with antelope is not to use bold, spicy marinades like I did on this uh, back strap. Luckily, I got another one. Um, that's marinating right now, and it's marinating in a little sweeter uh, garlicky one. So we're gonna give that a try next. But I think the secret, if you do A1, it's really, really good with it. And like I said, I think the secret with antelope, and I didn't know, was you need to use sweet, sweeter marinades, not something bold and spicy. So maybe that's why it's really good in fajitas, because it's got a bold, spicy taste all on its own. So we're gonna give it a try. We'll keep trying.